Thank God for everyone here. Amen. Yes. You have your Bibles. Let us stand for the reading of God's word. Turn the book. Turn your Bibles to Isaiah the sixty-fourth chapter. The book of Isaiah the sixty-fourth chapter. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Isaiah chapter sixty-four. I'm going to read the first four verses from the book of Isaiah this morning. Amen. Amen. It's read as following. It says, Oh, that thou wouldst render the heavens, that thou wouldst come down, that the mountains might flow down in thy presence. As when the melting fire burns, the fire caused the water to boil, to make thy name known to thy adversaries, that the nation may tremor at thy presence. When thou did it tremor, things which we look not for, thou came down the mountain, flowed down at thy presence. For since the beginning of the world, Men have not heard, nor perceived by the ear, neither has the eye seen, O God, beside thee, what he has prepared for him that waited on him. From those passages of scripture this morning, I'm going to use for a thought, where is God when things don't make sense? Where is God when things don't make sense? You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. You know, a lot of times in our life, we wonder, where is God? When some things don't make any sense, amen. Isaiah himself, amen, a great prophet, a great man of God. And I realize, you know, sometimes our faith may get weak, amen. And we begin to wonder, where is God when things don't make sense, amen? I'm, I'm here to tell you where God is when things don't make sense. God has promised us that he would never leave us, nor would he forsake us. Yes. Even when things don't make sense, God is still with us, amen? amen. And the prophet Isaiah, amen, he was calling God down from heaven, amen. He wanted to see some signs, amen. Sometimes we want to see some signs where God is. And Isaiah was calling down from heaven and he said, God caused the water to boil, uh, caused the mountains to melt, amen. I want to see some signs, God. I, I want to see that you with me, amen. Sometimes we feel that way. We want to see God for ourselves, amen. God is with us, amen, because God is the same today as he was yesterday, and God promised he would never forsake thee, amen. amen. Even when things don't make sense, amen, and I realize we live in a world, amen, where sometimes we don't understand when God is silent, amen. Glory be to God. God was silent for Israel for 400 years. Amen. God did not speak a word to Israel for 400 years, but yet God was still sitting on his throne. Amen. God has not left us. Amen. Even when things sometimes don't make sense in our life and when sometimes things don't make sense around us. Amen. God has not left us. Amen. You know, in the quiet time, when, when things get silent, we don't understand those times in our life, amen. But those are the times that God is working it out, amen. When you don't seem like God is working it out, amen, God is working behind the scenes, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Even though Isaiah called on God, amen, and asked God to show me some signs, amen, God never said a word, amen, because God is a man that he, he, he can't lie, he won't lie, amen. God said that he'd be with you until the, even to the end of the world. 
God said he'll be with you, amen. And and, and sometimes there are times when 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 God, amen, amen, he, he may not do anything about the oppressions that we're going through. He may not do anything about the cruelty that's in this world, but God is just extending his grace. When God is not saying anything, he extending his grace and giving those a chance to get saved. And giving those a chance to come out of the storm. Amen. amen. God has not left us. Amen. amen. Sometimes we feel like the disciples that was on the boat with Jesus. Amen. When the storm and the wind had came and began to beat up in the ship and waves, they was wondering, oh, Master, Doc, carry not that we perish. God does care for us. Amen. All we have to do is cast our cares up on Jesus because he cared for us. Amen. We have no need to worry about where God is because God is still on his throne. Amen. God is still sitting high. Amen. God is still looking low. Amen. God is still answering prayers. Amen. God is in the heavens. Amen. Above the earth. Amen. That's where God is when things don't make sense. Amen. Know that you can look up to God, amen, when things don't make sense, amen, when things yes. going chaotic in your life, you can call on God. Yes. Look at Job, amen, you know, Job may have been wondering, said, where is God, amen, things not making sense in my life, Satan don't kill my family, and I don't lost all my livestock, and everything is going crazy, my friends don't turn their back on me, no doubt Job was saying, now where is God, amen, I can see you like Job sometime, amen. We begin to question God, amen. Why God you allow this to happen? Why God you allow that to happen? Because it's God's will, amen. Yes, yes. God has not left us alone, amen, this morning. Yes. God has not left us alone. God understand your needs, amen. God understand, amen, that, that you have times when you don't hear from him, amen. He just working it out. Oh, God, just working it out this morning, amen. You may think God don't forget about your prayers. You may feel God don't forget about your needs, amen. But God is a man, amen. He does not forget anything, amen. amen. He went on and told Isaiah, they, they that wait up on the Lord. Oh, I can wish I could get some help there. They that wait up on the Lord, amen. Eyes have not seen what God got in store for those that wait up on the Lord. Ears have not heard for what God got to say to those that wait up on the Lord. Amen. Because one thing about God, amen, he said the righteous would never be forsaken. Amen. And I'm here to tell you this morning, I've been young and now that I'm old, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. I've never seen the seed begging for bread. Amen. I've never seen God turn back on nobody, amen. Praise God when things don't make sense, amen. God is with you. His name is Emmanuel and that means God is with us, amen. God dwells with us in the spirit of man. Hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah. Sometimes when tragic and sickness in our family, we want to know where is God? God is right there, amen. All we got to do is call on him. In a time of trouble, he is a very present help, amen. God is a very present help in the time of trouble, amen. You know, many, many question God, say, God, why you didn't prevent this? Why, God, you allow evil to take place, amen. God said, amen, that in the last days, when he come back, there'll be no more crying and no more weeping. And God going to make sense of things you don't understand, amen. All we got to do is just hold on a little while longer, amen. Isaiah went on and, 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 and began to talk to God. And he, he went on and began to talk about the nation, amen, because the nation themselves had forgot about God. And we living in a time where many men and women don't forget about God. 
Hallelujah this morning. The fool says in his heart, there's no God, amen. But the fool don't realize, amen, if there was not God, amen, he wouldn't be living, amen. God reigned on the just as well as the unjust, amen. God is a merciful God. Where is God, amen? God is making a way for you and I this morning. That's where God is, amen. God going back to heaven, amen, to prepare a place for us, amen. We can call on God, amen. When things don't make sense and when we don't understand what's going on, 